Jesus says, you may think that you have nothing in your life to give to Jesus or that whatever you have is too little and too insignificant. You may think that you do not have great talents or great wisdom of things or great wealth or health like others do. So you think, how can God use you for his purpose? Even people may look down upon what you are and what you have. But God looks into your heart while people look upon the outward appearance. And God knows what you are, what you have and how exactly to use you for his glory. Only five barley loaves, only two small fishes, brought by a little lad, but Christ accepted them, and they became his own. This boy gave all his loaves, and all his fish not much, truly but Christ multiplied it. You must not think that God picks out all the very choice and particularly fine people. It is not so in the Bible, some of those whom Jesus took were very rough people and the least in the world's eyes and in their own eyes. If Christ thought it worth his while to buy you with his blood, and is willing to make use of you, it is surely worth your while to come and bring yourself and all that you have to him who is so graciously ready to accept you. There is nothing the Lord would rather do than to take the nothings of the world and make something out of them. He likes to pick up the broken pieces and put them all back together again. What he requires of us is the same as the lad, to put what we have in the hands of the Lord Jesus. By ourselves, we are too little and too insignificant but Christ in our lives, empowers and lifts us up to glory. It is Christ in us who gives meaning to our insignificant lives. So whatever little you have, no matter how insignificant you think it is, be it your talent or skill or wisdom, put it in the hands of Jesus. Let him multiply them for his glory. The greatest tragedy in humanity is when we do not wrestle with God, when we become so apathetic that we are but a limp rag doll in the hands of a mighty lover who wishes that we fight back, that we embrace him and choose to find truth. Christ will seek the ends of the earth for the one sheep that has gone astray. He will fight the darkness to find his beloved, but when he holds us in his arms and we do not show any sign of life, then it is the heart of a king that is broken and all of creation will moan in the loss of another soul that was meant to dance in the courts of heaven. Take your doubts to Christ. Let this fire grow inside you and become aware that he is wanting a heart that beats and seeks knowledge. He wants a mind that thinks and learns wisdom and he wants a soul that cries out for help when it seems impossible to find. Because he broke down the gates of hell to rescue his bride, he is coming with a righteous fire in his soul and a joy that will wipe away every tear from your eyes, you just have to be willing and ready. Type believe in the comment. Amen.